good day everyone we will continue discussing about memory on this video too let's discuss about buffer pool buffer pool is where memory is allocated by sql server primarily for caching data and index buffers memory reserved for the buffer pool can be given to other memory consumers and will be called stolen memory buffer pool uses most of the memory in sql server process and sql server aims to cache and keep cached any page that is accessed by maximizing overall performance by minimizing disk io all buffers are 8 kb in size buffer pool can grow till available memory on the database server it is reserved at the startup and will grow till available database server memory size regardless of the configuration settings max server memory controls buffer pool size only and controls how much memory is committed with buffer pool max server memory can be changed dynamically as it is fully reserved already Minimum server memory value will not be committed while SQL Server starts, but once the memory allocation of SQL Server moves past that value, it will never come down from the minimum server memory value. Stolen memory is the memory consumed from within the buffer pool for things other than data and index pages. Stolen memory consumers can include procedure cache, Query reservation memory, that is the memory used for sort and hash operation, optimizer memory, lock memory, and much more than that. SQL Server memory utilization outside of uh, buffer pool can be from worker threads. Each thread will be 2 MB for 64-bit uh, and 4 MB for IA64. Extended stored procedures, link servers, com objects or dll used by sp underscore oa procedures clr engine etc let's discuss on dbcc memory status we will be using this uh, command dbcc memory status and that will provide us all the information as far as sql server memory utilization so let me execute that this is the output that we are seeing so what we are able to see is like the available physical memory is close to like uh, uh, it's uh, basically given in bytes so it is close to like uh, 24 gb so let me copy this value then if i put it here so i'm basically converting it to kb mb and gb so if i run that it's close to 24 gb so the available virtual memory um, it will be like too huge because it's uh, vast not the physical memory and this is the amount of uh, value that is available as far as the paging file is concerned again it is uh, mentioned in bytes next one is related to the working set so this value is again in bytes and what uh, uh, this value signifies is like uh, this would be the same value that you will be seeing in your task manager for the sql server process so let me put that here and what I'm seeing is like I'm seeing close to 118 MB is currently used by SQL Server as far as the working set is concerned. So now if I look at the task manager, what I can see is like it is same as what we have seen. It is close to like 120. If I convert it, it would be around 118 to 119 MB. Moving on. So uh, this one basically tells like a percent of committed memory uh, with respect to the working set, which basically tells us 100%. The next one is like um, uh, basically we are seeing like the system physical memory high. So that means like uh, 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 there is no issues. And um, um, what we can see is like uh, there is no uh, external memory pressure here. So uh, external memory pressure is something like that happens outside of SQL. So for example, if some other application or the operating system 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 driver if it is uh, utilizing much of memory then there is a high possibility that can cause uh, memory issues wherein uh, that would uh, raise in memory pressure and sql server including all the application on the database server will have to uh, reduce its memory utilization so as far as uh, 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 our values are concerned we are seeing like uh, system physical memory is high 
and that is set to one so that means like there is no memory pressure so in case if in the output if you are seeing like uh, uh, one a value one for uh, system physical memory low then that implies that there seems to be an external memory pressure and um, as far as uh, processes are concerned that is specifically for SQL Server in case if you see uh, process physical memory low then that means like uh, it signifies that there is an internal memory pressure and uh, same way in case if there is an um, uh, value of one set for uh, this one it signifies like there is an uh, um, um, memory pressure as far as the virtual memory is concerned this is highly unlikely but it can happen sometimes moving on what I'm able to see is like um, 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 as far as the memory manager is concerned I'm able to see uh, like VM reserved is this much this basically tells like this is the virtual memory that is reserved uh, so as I told you like uh, when um, uh, SQL server starts it basically uh, kind of reserves uh, uh, the memory and uh, depending upon the requirement it basically commits the memory so here what I'm able to see is like the memory that is uh, virtual memory that is reserved is this much and uh, the memory that is committed is this much so uh, so this is the value that we are able to see here and next one uh, what we are able to see is like uh, this is the amount of memory that is committed by uh, log pages and uh, this is the amount of memory that is um, uh, used by the large large pages so uh, in our case we have uh, implemented uh, large pages with a trace flag of 834 so that's the reason we are seeing it so emergency memory uh, this is basically for your DAC connection just in case if you need to take a DAC connection this emery, this emergency memory will be utilized by that so as far as this uh, target committed and current committed are concerned these are the very important things so what we can understand from here is like uh, basically uh, target committed is like uh, this much of um, a memory in KB and the uh, current committed is basically like uh, this much of uh, memory in KB target committed what it basically uh, tells us like this value changes as per the memory pressure or the available memory if there is no external memory pressure then uh, this value basically increases uh, this is same as your uh, target server memory in uh, performance monitor SQL SQL memory manager in the performance monitor and as far as uh, the current committed is uh, uh, concerned uh, it is uh, basically like um, it basically tells like how much memory SQL server is uh, uh, using uh, if the target comes below total that is the target committed comes below uh, total uh, then that means uh, we are seeing external memory pressure now the total will uh, trim its memory use and tries to match the target value and uh, uh, this current committed is uh, uh, same as your total server memory in performance monitor uh, SQL server memory manager so this is a little uh, important as long as uh, target um, and uh, current is same or uh, current is uh, below target uh, uh, everything seems to be okay maybe like uh, when current is current committed is less than target committed there is a, an understanding like it is uh, trying to grow but in case if uh, target committed is um, less than current that means like um, we can clearly understand like there seems to be an external memory pressure and due to which um, 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 the, the target committed has come down and now the current committed as whole should also come down should and should match target committed so this is something that we need to uh, uh, really really look at uh, when we have the DBCC memory status command so other things are like self-explanatory uh, pages allocated pages reserved pages free so this pages free basically tells like um, uh, whatever uh, we have reserved uh, these are the amount of pages um, um, that are free so that uh, in case in something comes up like for example a new uh, uh, um, requirement comes up then these page uh, free pages can be utilized for example if you see uh, uh, free pages as nil then there is a possibility like there is a problem on the database server moving on so these are the informations like uh, uh, we will get uh, the same information as this uh, the only thing is like uh, you will get the information for the number of uh, NUMA nodes that uh, you have on the database so right now I have one NUMA node so I'm getting the information for that 
and we have a lot of clerks here each clerk will have its own uh, memory utilization when there is an issue uh, for example there is an 701 out of memory error then uh, we can look at the, the things that we just discussed and then understand if it is an uh, internal memory pressure or an external memory pressure and then we can uh, look at the individual clerks and understand uh, uh, which particular clerk is taking much memory and depending on that we will be able to troubleshoot it further so moving on, um, uh, we have other things like SOS Manager, Bitmap, SQL General, uh, SQL Buffer Pool is here. So basically the uh, Buffer Pool uh, kinds of uh, give us the information like how much is reserved and how much is uh, committed and also like how much is the log pages allocated. So this is something um, that can come handy to understand like if uh, SQL Buffer Pool is um, um, utilizing much memory. And as far as uh, query plan is concerned, this clerk basically utilizes uh, uh, a kind of a plan cache where you place your uh, plans. Uh, moving on, SQL Optimizer, uh, this basically contains um, uh, the information with regards to optimizing the query. So, uh, for example, when you are creating the execution plan, you basically have to use this memory uh, to create, um, the optimizer requires memory to uh, perform um, optimization and create the query tree and that information will be present here. Moving on. As far as procedure cache is concerned, we see that uh, total procs and this value shows the total cached objects that are currently in the procedure cache. As far as total pages is concerned, this value shows the cumulative pages that uh, you must have to store all the cached objects in the cache. In use pages, uh, uh, this value shows the pages in the procedure cache that belongs to procedures that are currently executing. This talks about the uh, query memory usage. Query memory is also known as workspace memory. If the size and cost of a query satisfies small query memory thresholds, the query is put in a, a small query queue. This behavior prevents smaller queries from being delayed behind larger queries that are already in the queue. So the grants here, it basically is the value, uh, shows that the running queries that are memory grants Waiting uh, is value that basically shows that the queries that are waiting to obtain memory grants. Uh, available refers to the buffers that are available to queries for use as hash workspace and as sort workspace. Maximum, this value shows the total buffers that can be given to all queries. Optimization queue basically gives us a summary of the users who are trying to optimize the queries at the same time. So uh, queries are submitted uh, to the server for compilation. The compilation process includes parsing, algebraization, and optimization. Queries are classified based on the amount of memory, memory that each query will consume during the compilation process. When a query starts, uh, there is no limit on how many queries can be compiled. As the memory consumption increases and reaches a threshold, the query must pass a gateway to continue. There is a progressively decreasing limit of simultaneously compiled queries after each gateway. The size of each gateway depends on the platform and the load. Gateway sizes are uh, chosen to maximize scalability and throughput. If the query cannot pass a gateway, the query will wait until memory is available or the query will return a timeout error. Additionally, the query may not acquire a gateway if the user cancels the query or if a deadlock is detected. If a query passes several gateways, the query does not release the smaller gateways until the compilation process is completed. This behavior lets only a few memory intensive compilations occur at the same time. Additionally, this behavior maximizes um, a throughput for uh, smaller queries. SQL Server will free memory under external or internal memory pressure. External memory pressure, it's outside of SQL Server. Operating system basically notifies all application, including SQL Server of memory pressure and requests them to free up the memory. Internal memory pressure occurs when buffer pool is exhausted and more memory is needed. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.